Hey guys, Beat Ronald's Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So still looking at a Colorado storm system. It does look major for 313, 314, and 315. Although I'll tell you some of the totals, I've taken them down just a little bit, but that's pretty normal for the evolution of a storm system. We're going to see it oscillate up and down. The numbers we're going to, are going to oscillate until we get super close to the event. Um, so here's the timeline. Colorado light snow accumulation tonight into 312. And then it's heaviest, 313, 314, lighter by 315. Timeline for the Tetons and the Wasatch are identical. Light snow tonight and maybe trickling into early tomorrow morning. And then you're going to get into your moderate snow amounts, 312 and 313. And I actually now include 313 in that moderate category for the Wasatch. So the numbers have bumped up just a touch. New Mexico, moderate accumulation, 313, 14, and 15, then heaviest on 316. The northeast, you will have rain over to snow, 316, and then snow on 319. All right, I want to go over to water vapor. So on this, your moisture aloft is in the whites, the blues, and the greens. A couple of things to note. Little area of low pressure crossing the inner mountain, and that's what's going to give us that light snow um, tonight into tomorrow morning. Main storm system is right here, big trough. And it has support and being escorted by the northern branch. Now, all of the precip right now is going into the Pacific Northwest and BC. But eventually, that flow will buckle to the south, and that low will drag its uh, precip through Utah, the Tetons, and then eventually it's going to go down here, and it's going to set up as a panhandle hook-type storm system. And that's what's going to deliver those orographics to Colorado in enhanced snowfall potential. Here's the latest jet forecast, so you can see everything is focused in the Pacific Northwest with the Northern Branch. Uh, by close of day tomorrow, though, things start to shift. Here's the trough of low pressure uh, over the inner mountain, Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, 313, 314. Now look at it getting cut off, and it retrogrades back through Arizona, southern Utah, and Vegas. Now eventually the flow will pick this thing back up, but it's interesting to see it move back to the west. Then it gets kicked out. Now look at the high pressure ridging across the Pacific Northwest in BC. It's there, 316, 17, 18, but it may not last as long. Here comes a trough and a storm system by 319, 320. So it may not be as long lived as it looked previously. Okay, precip on top of all this. There's your very light snow moving through the interior states tonight, tomorrow morning into Colorado. Here comes the main storm system, 312, 313. Now it's diving through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado, and it's going to start to spin up. You can see it happening right here. Rain initially for Denver in the front range by 313 in the afternoon. Snow above 6,000 feet. Then it changes over to snow. Uh, by the morning of 314. This is where Denver will likely pick up most of its accumulation. Heavy snow back on the Continental Divide, southern Colorado, northern New Mexico. By 314 in the afternoon, it's still there. By 315, still snow in southern Colorado, New Mexico, and then the low starts to move back uh, to the west, dragging that snow into U southern Utah and Arizona. And then it gets picked back up, and it moves back through New Mexico and southern Colorado on its way through. And then there's your 319. Look at three, late 319, 320. Storm system moves into the Pacific Northwest and BC. Okay, my latest afternoon grand total map looks like this. So I bumped up the numbers just a touch in the Wasatch. Now anywhere from 7 to 14 inches, so potentially over a foot for little and big cottonwood canyons. Um, as that low retrogrades, it's going to hit Brian Head and the snowball with about a foot of snow. Colorado's numbers, like I said earlier, have trended down just a touch, but still looking at a lot of places at a foot or more. Less in Summit County, less in this update for Vail and Aspen snow mass, but still 8 to 10 inches, not bad. Um, Southern Colorado is still in the heart of that, uh, that snow accumulation with potentially a couple of feet down there. The numbers for northern New Mexico have gone up 10 to 20 inches, uh, my expectation there. About 6 to 8 up in the Tetons. Okay, here's that map I showed you this morning. The 3D look at Denver, the Front Range, the foothills, and the Continental Divide. You're looking back to the west here over the foothills and the Continental Divide. So these numbers, like I said, have trended down a little bit. They're still pretty sizable for the foothills running up to the Continental Divide, but certainly not what we were looking at this morning. And those are grand totals by late 320. And you can see not as much snow makes it over the Continental Divide into Summit County as I was forecasting this morning. Okay, by time period... Rest of today through tomorrow, um, light snow accumulation, 
uh, light to moderate in many, many places. You can see the numbers starting to tick up in the Tetons, starting to tick up in the Wasatch and 1 to 3 in parts of Colorado. North, Pacific Northwest, Interior BC, you can see the accumulation there. Period 2. So another 4 to 7 in the Wasatch, another 2 to 3, maybe 4 in the Tetons, and then the numbers start to go up and tick up in Colorado and northern New Mexico as that low spins up and starts to reach maturity. Okay, final time period. 316 through 320, remainder leftover snow in Colorado, Utah, southern, uh, southern Utah, and also New Mexico. And we start to see on 320 a little bit of snow accumulation in the Pacific Northwest and BC. All right, last stop is the Northeast. And again, you have some rain over to snow on 316 and then another shot of snow after that. And that's where we're going to pick up bulk of this accumulation. Most of it in northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map here for this afternoon. You can see the numbers still looking at a major storm for Colorado, New Mexico, and decent amounts for the Tetons and the Wasatch. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here to this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate it, and take care.